Few words were spoken as the five figures marched through the jungle. Think, Akrab told himself. He should be thinking, agonizing, brooding. Brooding over whether his choice was the right one. But he could not. His mind was as dull and silent as the temple they had left behind. Just three thoughts crept in, over and over. Reach the coast. Resurrect the cub. Save the tribe. That was all that mattered. The sun had risen again when Zaska jerked up a hand and stopped. Listen, he said. Fighting. And it was close. Everything. So, not yet. Not yet. Oh. Will Kabrak Snow and Chieftain Akrog make the right one? No, Ag. <laughs> uh, he does. Come, follow Anug. There is green. Let them march then. So, Anug is ready. Grungwar and Nurbok fight side by side once more. Almost like in the old days, no? It will never be like in the old days again, Nerbok. The bond of trust has been shattered. Come, Chieftain. Let them march. Can Zazga help? Let Grungwa take a closer look. This way. Mugwa's piercing tusks! Zeramak think chieftain dead! He they are not. What is that? What they do best, of course. Look from old to new. Um, Zeramak guess there will be time for explanations later. Join them in the tribe camp. Akrok speaks true. Before they go, though. <sighs> Rot it. There is no good way to say it. Want Akrok Nurbok to stay and fight, or to go back into a cage. Nurbok will bow. They're fighting the chip. 
be loyal? That Akrog must ask that shows Nurbok how far he has fallen. Nurbok has had a lot of time to think, Akrog. And he will be loyal and fight. To the last breath. This battle needs every understood. Oh, and Gob. Crush those pews. Good. That's all right, Anuk. Give Akrog a view on the battle. How are the Moonkin holding up? Well, Anuk wish he had better answer for a chieftain. But the truth is, it, it is bad. Both the Chainers and the Hunters attack us all the time. Anu think they try to make the tribe weak before dealing the killing blow. The battle is going for almost a sunup and a sundown now, and we already lose many kin. Anu not lie, Chieftain. It looked dark. Very dark. Well, they have the cub now, so the wind has turned. Where have the Kainers built their tribe camp? The cow? Well, there is two, actually. One is a little camp on small hill. I am act think that is where they send their wyverns from, and the Moonkin will destroy it. What about the big camp? That one is a bit farther south from the small camp, in the east. It is well shielded though, so it will be a tough fight. Forget the tribe camp for now. They should focus on conquering the Vayne first. This one can sense it's nearby. Have the meatbags found it already? He speak of Anug? It is true, they have. It is near the Chainer camp, a bit to the southwest. Well, then we know what we need to do, don't we? Defend the tribe camp and conquer the soil around the veins so the cub can perform the sanguine ritual. The stranger speaks true. What about the hunters, though? Where are they? Cabrax can answer that question. They are down in the very south. But it seems like they have shielded off their tribe camp with hex barriers. It is probably as Anug says. They want to wait with their final charge until the moon can awaken. Cabrax and his bone hexes tried to banish the hex walls, but they are too strong. For you, once this one has his flesh back, no hex gate in the world will stop it. All the more reason to seize the vein first. Have the hunters other tribe camps in the jungle? Huh. The big spot one more, but it is also behind the hex gates. Anug think they make warriors appear in strange spots with air flickers all across the coast from there. Just like they do in Mugwa's cradle. Tele... Uh, tele... Uh, Teleport hexes. Try Cabrax to banish them. Mm. With hexes and with crust sticks, it is true, but it works not. Whatever they use, it must be very, very powerful. Well then, there is nothing the Moonkin can do but fend off the warriors until they find a better solution. Good. This helps. Now, enough chatter. They... Anug! Anug! Wait! Wait... Chieftain Agrog... Is that him? And... What happened to Noag? There is no time for explanation. What is wrong, Julok? Uh, well... One of Julog's beaks spotted something in the ocean, so uh, Julog went to see what it was. It seems like there is a group of brittle bones, humans, coming on ships. Humans? What could they want here? Julog knows not, Chieftain. Maybe they are a helping pack for the hunters. They should be wary. Wary, wary, cautious, cautious. There will be struggle and bloodshed meat bags. That is something to look forward to. The only thing Akrog looks forward to is marching over the corpses of those rotten hunters and greenskins. They have plagued the Moonkin for hundreds of moons. Now 
it is time to return the favor. Kin, to their places. The battle begins. Well said, Chieftain. I will stay here and do my best to keep the camp safe. Good luck. Tribe's land grows. This belongs to the Moonkin now. By the Holy Hide, what now? Ready. Zazka is listening. The future of the Moonkin looks brighter. So the so tribe so needs more words, Chieftain. What can he do for the tribe? His trolls are going hungry. They need more food. Akrog is listening. <sighs> this all right. Magua gives this old soul strength. Grungwa will go there. Zaska help. The future of the Moonkin looks brighter. The eye of the tribe sees. The tribe's land grows. Blessed the moon king. The eye of the tribe sees. The tribe's land grows. Listening. What is that? Let's 
Zazka get a proper look? Interesting. Probably. The Grunwai is here. Can a troll not rest for a moment? <clears throat> he will forget the tribe. The Grunwai is ready. Can Zazka help? Great! More problems to smash! <clears throat> What is that? At his service. A grog is ready. He might be old, but his tasks are still sharp. What can he do for the tribe? Interesting. Probably. What is this? What should he do? Agua has blessed the moon king. He is needed. The eye of the tribe sees. The tribe's land grows. Attacking the Moonkin. Probably task hunt. Crushed! The tribe needs more words, Chieftain. Grunwar, ready for ready. Let our grog see. <laughs> that was all of them. Good work. Let them crush that ship, too. Hmm. What next? Blood for the Trojans! Back to the hunters now. Enemies are attacking! Enemies are attacking! 
The Dark Rocks Magua has blessed the Moon King with glory. Yes. The Eye of the Tribe sees. The tribe's land grows. For the tribe. Moving on. 
What is that? <sighs> this altar all right. Magua gives this old soul strength. No orders? Magua's servant is at his command. Quick 
will not be any more trouble. At least for now. Let them take a look at that thing, trusted one. Grunt one is ready. Huh? What can he do for the tribe? Chieftain, the tribe needs more room. Build more shelters. 
There. That is the fake. So... No. It is strong. But also... Then they will get... All right. Let them get the stranger. Fascinating. Three are so. You said you need... This one does. Has this one told the others already? If you will, channel a spell onto the vein where we few things are as powerful as blood fresh after it is shed. This and then he can do the sanguine ritual before the sanguine ritual. Noag. His name was Noag. The Moonkin are already struggling to defend themselves. That without blood, there is no sanguine ritual. That is how it is. How much blood will he need? This one cannot say. But he will tell. Fine. How much blood? This one cannot say. Fuck. Can the stranger do what the. Sounds like demonology. Well, then it is decided. It will soak this ground in brittle bone and green skin blood. It will do it for the tribe. Wrong 
Go join the worms! <clears throat> the Grunwai is here. Couldn't have done it much longer. Means this that the cub is ready now. The sun ritual, indeed. This one recommends they do it now. The odds? So the cub knows not? No, this one does not. The ritual does not always work, meatbag. And waiting will... Huh. Why is Zazka not surprised? The cub should have told them this. What? So you would have refused the pack in your foolish fear? Every fight where victory is certain is not worth fighting, Meatbag. If your kind would live by that principle, may- This one will. Step back, Meatbags. Zarek, give this one strength. What... what happened? I don't know. But the field dog's energy... It's all gone. And your brother... He's still... Big... Big blood. Others... Noag! No... No... Let Noag go back, Big Blood! No, let him go back into Misty Water! Please! Akrog will not. Whatever Noag saw it, it was just a bad dream. Everything is all right. Nothing all right. No dream. Noag die at easy moonlit river. It terrible. Just water and cold and dead and whispers and floating. There no crumple, no sire, just corpses. Noag so afraid. No, I no want go back. No, I want live. He is confused, Chieftain. His mind, it is, it is hurt. No, I want live. Little blood. Little blood. Gone. He is dead.
Chieftain, did you do it? Did you beat those fools? The Tusk Hunters are dead. It is true. And so is Noag. Everything comes at a price. Well, you should talk to the creature, Chieftain. I believe there's something else it must do. Let Zazka get a proper Me back. Are you ready? Akrog is. But he wonders how You will not understand, even if this one told you. Just let them finish this. Alright. Do it. This one will. Silence! Silence! The Moonkin have fought well, and honorably. But it is not over. There is one last battle they must win, but they cannot do so without help. Most of the Moonkin know this already, but the creature that brought chaos down upon the Moonkin's enemies is no less than Zarek's cub, the Field Dog. <laughs> Through a great sacrifice, the Moonkin... Chieftain. The cub has not only promised to crush their enemies, but also to cleanse the Moonkin's blood. And it will do so now. Do it. So be it. Twelve moons. So long. The rot has poisoned your kin's blood for almost six decades. Like an undue death in the blink of an eye. Even with this one's power, they will have to wait and endure. This one has fulfilled the pact, me back. Now they will go their separate. There is something Akrog needs to ask first. No egg. Akrog's... Akrog's little blood. This one does not know. He is a god. But this one does not. Maybe your brother was only dreaming. Maybe he truly was dead for that moment and what he saw was real. The truth is, no one but here and the lost souls... Akrog 
Hulk understands. Wait. If the Hex takes twelve moons to work, what will become of those who are already ill? Die. That depends how strong they are. It's the same for your cups. But there must be something the cup- It already did. The weak perish, and the strong survive. This is how it is, and how it always will be. How can they know that- <laughs> Did this one lie when this one said it would end up? <laughs> the cup killed less than this one had hoped. But yes, this one did. As this one fulfilled the pact. That is all this one will say. The meat bags may choose to trust him or not. This they crushed the hunters and the chainers, but Agrog is sure there will be more. Maybe <laughs> No. Why not? If not for them, the cub would still be in his prison. And he, like the trolls, is also a sp And so were the chainers. Yet this one annihilated them. Why? Because you, through your pact with this one, are stronger. It's time you face it. Then what are they supposed to do? No, you foolish meatbag. Fight and survive. This world is full of predators. And someone as powerful as this one is not safe from all of them. Why don't just look around you? The treasure you could gain from selling the plunder from this battlefield alone would be enough to make the hunters work for you. Is he suggesting they become brittle bones? Fighting and killing over shiny things? No, you fool. This one suggests they stop running. They're packed with this one all the time. And the next time someone comes for your precious little tusks, shove them. Where will the cub go then? What well, this one should have been doing these past 200 years. Bring back his sire and the silver Zarek and Nor. Yes. The Renegades will reign over Eo. You won't. No! <laughs> What? Stay back! Don't you dare! Don't you... It's over. Is he... Not dead. Just trapped. Akrog understands not. It's a long story and one I'd rather tell to fewer ears. How about you savor your victory first? You've done it, Chieftain Akrog. You've crushed your hunters and cured your people. Fine. Speak to your people. <sighs> Say something quiet. Quiet! Little Moonblood, it is true. Noag gave his blood so the Moonkin could live. It is a long story, but now... But now is not the time for dark thoughts. Not for Akrog, nor for all those who lost trusted ones and kin today. Because while it is true that the Moonkin have beaten their hunters, they must not fool themselves. It was only through little blood sacrifice the hunters will return. And if not the brittle but oh. What means this that Akrog is afraid? No. When these new hunters come, the Moon King will be prey no more. They will await them with sharp tusks, thick hide, and the wrath of a tribe so brought it their Moonkin! One of theirs stands bigger than three greenskins. One of theirs is stronger than ten brittle bones. So how it can be they let themselves be the vi- All these moons. All this time the tribe ran because they thought they were too weak. Yet here they stand. Bathed 
dipped in the blood of the fools who thought they could hunt them like animals. Zarek favors the Greenskins? Well, rotten let <laughs> It is true that the crush sticks and the throwing spikes killed the hunters. The Moonkin should always remember many kin fell today. Good and strong kin. And the tribe will feel their loss dearly. They will survive. Now go. Lick their wounds and find the fallen. That good bit, Zeramak. Very well. Plenty scrap here after big fight. Zeramak, use it up, Chieftain. No need to waste. Good. Very true. Either way, Zeramak, start with me. Well, Akrog is glad he did. Sure, Zeramak better go find. Fine word, were they? Well, that is his loss. Jesting aside, Cabrax... Either way, Akrog came to thank the Bonekin for fighting so bravely by their side until the end. Ah, the Cradle. The truth... Why not? Maybe so. They can stay with... The, the same thought has come to Cabrax for now. Let... Akrog will. Good then. And when all the mourning is done... Like a fine plan, Cabrax. Like a fine the bonekin in the moon. Even better than when the blood sight takes him over, Chieftain Akrok. Magua. Ellen Sauce. At the risk of bl I must admit I was quite dis- The Orlar. Good speech. That's what he's trying to say. So, your g- A tribe camp to last. But yes, they will try. So, um... They have been for a while. What is that supposed to mean? It means there have been numerous opportunities to- Why have they stayed then? That, my dear thick-hided compeers, is an excellent question. I'm afraid I don't know the other- <sighs> They can surely use a good scrapper. As Lovely. Let me be very clear, however- Yes, yes, I'm working on it. Anyway, don't let us keep you, Chieftain. I'm sure you have plenty of people to talk to. Hey- mm. Akrog is a speech worthy. A uh, chieftain. It is true, Ugruk. So Ugruk get make new ship. Then let them find the stranger. If he has not gotten scared and run off. Well that. done, chieftain. So did he. True. True. Sharp tusks and thick. Sharp tusks and thick. Afraid of them. Um, still, the moonkin deserve answers. Akrog is ready. Can Zaska help? He is going. Let Grungwa. Horde of Souls is its name, but yes. I sealed. I could never have done it without the magic of that archfire vein, though. That... Either way, I'm truly sorry. No, he did, but it is time for answer. Of course. What Akrog did... It's not a brittle bolt plate. Akrog is not asking for judgment. He is asking for the stranger's thoughts. Hmm. Let me put it this way. Hmm. <laughs> But the best and most honest I can offer, I'm afraid. Back in the tribe camp, the stranger said Mugwa's cradle. That's correct. I'm impressed at how powerful both of these are, truly. Most. This means the magic of the cradle never had anything to do with Mugwa, no? It is. Well, I. Speak true. Fine. If your goddess exists. Then she cannot physically influence the world the- A god with- <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't say that. An idea, ideals, or hope cannot- There are dangers to faith. But I think it's safe to say the faith of the Moonkin and the Bonekin led them to places most of your kind would- No. Oh, 
Krangwa believes this not? How knows the stranger Magwa exists not? How knows he the they believe this nonsense not, chieftain? Just because the Guardians and the Renegades march around showing their tusks to everyone means not that Magwa is not... By that logic, I could invent a god right now and claim he exists because you can't prove that he doesn't. Magwa has been with the trolls for centuries. And even if she were not, one needs not. What the stranger says is just more of typical brittle bone ignorance. They see this arch fire. The chieftain should not let this nonsense shake his faith. All these visions, nah, Jack, and that is just what it sounded like when Noag woke up. He was dreaming. The cub said it himself. Little Moonblood was not dead, only sleeping. This herd of soul horde. And yes. How? Well, we're still figuring that part out. All we know is that it's capable of drawing a living creature. A long time ago, a dark elven woman from Nortander used it to bring a creature into this world. And Saska has had enough of stories and legends to last him a lifetime. How could the stranger simply seal the cub into that thing? If I suppose you could say that, yes. But as I said, I couldn't have frankly. We were lucky this thing went back to the vein to cure you of the blood rot. Otherwise, things would... So he... what? Fed on the power running through this vein? Indeed. Before you get any ideas, though, channeling the Archfire is incredibly dangerous. I'm one of the few mages on EO who has learned how to use it, and even... Mm. The stranger will tell Akrog the full truth. It was. So Gungwa was right! To the stranger, this was all- First and foremost, yes, it was. You have never heard of- Zaska presumes he is not talking of the- No, the circle is a- How to put it? I suppose you could call it a band of powerful shamans from all races in Nortanda. Light and- Ever since a Nortandian corporal called Tahar discovered the Archfire, the circle has devoted itself to understanding it. I am one of those shamans. A circle mage. Light races and dark races. So the creatures of... Z Certain ones have, yes. And it's a very peculiar pact. But that is a long story, and I doubt we have the time. So this circle... It's a little more complicated than that, but yes, I came here to find out whether the rumors of an imprisoned field dog were true. I found out they were. But also that I... Is he saying he knew about the gift of... I'd heard about it, yes. I'd heard of creatures from all kinds of races with that ability. But you were the only one I could find on Urgoth. Wait. So the stream... Yes. I'm sorry about the duplicity. But considering how little that great warrior of yours trusted... And he was right to distrust him. The stranger knew... Let's put it this way. I had a theory. But it was you who confirmed... It wasn't all lies, Chieftain Akrog. I won't claim the survival of your tribe was my priority, but neither was it my intention to double-cross you. I wanted this resurrection to work for your kind's sake and mine. Needless to say, things took a different turn. Had the resurrection worked in the temple, would the stranger have... No. I would have held my end... <clears throat> And just what st Why would you do that? Because he used the Moon King. What, and you accepted my help out of the kindness of your hearts? Don't fool yourself, Chieftain Akrog. We all put our own needs first. Sometimes those needs overlap and we're quick to cry. We came this far together, Chieftain. Let's just... He is right, Chief. Wise words, Elder Grunwar. Well... Oh, believe me. I'm far... If you will accept a word of advice from me, I suggest you go south to the coast to build that new tribe camp of yours. The swamps will act like a natural barrier for you. <sighs> yes, Chieftain Akrog. This is farewell. I wish you and your tribe all the best. May you build this tribe camp to last. And may your brother... Wait! Hmm? The stranger knows all their names. 
It is time he took... That's fair, I suppose. My name is Wraith Skadar. Farewell. Gone. It is true. <sighs> well, let them return. They do. What? Akrog heard him. Zazka will walk on it because of little blood. Hmm. Noad made that decision himself. He made the decision because that is how the Moonkin shaped him. They know how he was. Make no mistake, Akrog. Zaska understands Akrog is hurting as much as Zaska is. But still, Zaska just needs time away from this all. He needs time to think. If this is trusted one, Zaska... Zaska thanks. Zaska hopes the Moonkin will stay safe. But his faith is strong. Akrog has what it takes to be... Goodbye, kin. Build that tribe camp to last. All this... It has to mean something. A tribe camp to last. The elders still wonder if Chieftain Akrog believed his own words when he first spoke them on the battlefield. The corpse of his little blood before him. All that is known is that many moon can believe them not. After lives of running, how could they? But then it began. With the scrap and bone and wood of their fallen kin in their sacks. They marched to the south and built their shelters. First ten, then fifty, then a hundred. New hunters and new slavers came, as Akrog had foreseen. But knowing of the field dog slaughter in the meadow, very few of them were foolish enough to attack. And with every attack that the tribe camp endured, the walls grew stronger. One day it became known as Nagmag. What became of Chieftain Akrog, they ask? He led the Moonkin for a long, long time, with Elder Gronwa Grafer supporting him, first as his advisor, and later as his trusted one until his old, tenacious hide finally gave up, and Mugwal led him into the moonlit river. What became of Zaska Smalltusk will never be known. Some eyes say he was killed by hunters. Some that he built a shelter deep in the swamps, while some swear they saw him near the tribe camp, speaking with Akron in secret. So, had he made the right choice? It is true that without Moonblood Noag's sacrifice, there would be no Moonkin and no Nag Nag today. But it is also true that with Noag, the last of the troll firstborn blood disappeared from Eo forever. And that some choices leave scars, no matter how honorable the intentions. Such is the Chieftain's lot.